Hi, my name is Faris Azizi from University of Malaya and today I wanted to talk about my project which was automated grading of citrus suhain seeds fruit using deep learning method. Fruit productivity in Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand and Vietnam are 92, 250, 28 and 78% higher than in Malaysia. The significantly low relative productivity need to be addressed if Malaysia is to embark on expanding fruit production and compete in both domestic and international market. The major factor that affecting fruit productivity in Malaysia is high post-production loss, low quality output and farm management. This productivity gap could be narrowed through technology adoption such as automation. Automation in agriculture come into play to increase productivity quality and economic growth in of the country. Fruit grading is an important process for producers which affect the fruit quality evaluation and export market. Although the grading and sorting can be done by human through manual grading, but it is slow, labor intensive, error prone and tedious. Hence, there is a need of an automated local fruit grading system. In the recent year, process in fruit and vegetable grading system has been highly automated through mechatronic, artificial intelligence, and robotic technology. In European country and USA, most the most common grading system are based on machine vision. Deep learning approach is one of the machine vision that has been widely used because of its high degree of accuracy. With their multi-level structure, Deep learning models are very helpful in extracting complicated data from our input image. Therefore, in this project, we propose the use of deep learning approach for the automated local fruit grading system. For problem statement, the first problem statement is fruit productivity in Malaysia, especially local fruit, is relatively low among other Asian countries and most of local fruit farms in Malaysia still using manual grading method in forced harvest handling. This is due to high post-production loss, low quality output, and farm management. Apart from that, the business, labor requirement, and inconsistency are numerous disadvantages associated with manual grading, and research is lacking on how this image processing technology can be applied into our local Malaysian fruit. The objective of this project are to identify a local fruit for investigation with information on characteristics suitable for grading and detection to build image dataset for selected local fruit, to develop an automated local grading system using image processing by developing new algorithm to grade the chosen fruit, to perform suitable analysis, and to evaluate the detection method. The first step in methodology is data acquisition. Two datasets for quality and maturity level is created with the help of the orchid owner and limo manis grading guide provided by Pharma as reference. The quality dataset consists of three classes, which is the best quality, acceptable quality, and poor quality. Total number of images in the dataset is 303 images for the training and 70 images for validation. On the other hand, maturity dataset consists of six classes, which is immature, mature start, mature, start ripe, ripe, and too ripe. The number of training and validation images for this dataset is 283 and 68 images, respectively. Next step is data augmentation process. Since we are using TensorFlow library during implementation, training, and testing process, image data generator class is used to generate batch of tensor image data with real-time augmentation. In this study, the training data was augmented by using horizontal flip, vertical flip, and 90-degree rotation. For this project, a convolutional neural network is selected as the network architecture to train a deep learning model. Based on the table, the proposed CNN consists of three convolutional layers. The first convolutional layer consists of six string 3x3 three three filter. This layer is followed by a max pooling layer with 2x2 two two filter shape and two strut. Max pooling layer reduces the dimension of feature map, which is the output of the convolution layer. Second and third convolution layer consists of filter with the same shape as the first convolution layer but using different number of filter which is 32 and 64 filter respectively. Each layer is then followed by a max pooling layer with 2 by 2 filter shape and 2 strut. There are two fully connected layers with output of 1024 and 256 used in CNN model. The activation function for each convolutional layer and fully connected layer is the ReLU function. 
The last layer of the CNN model is soft map layer. This soft map layer will assign a decimal probability to each class defined in the dataset. The performance of trained CNN model is evaluated by using classification accuracy, logarithmic loss or log loss, precision, recall, and F1 score. The value of true positive, false positive, and false negative in precision and recall calculation can be obtained in the confusion matrix. For model optimization, in order to find the best CNN network configuration, there are several parameters of CNN model that can be changed such as the number of convolutional layer, filter or kernel size, number of filter, batch size, and epoch. Typically, each parameter will be tuned to find the best sets of parameters for a particular problem. This parameter tuning is needed to find the right balance between the bias and variance. To determine the best number of convolutional layer that can be used for our model, a test is conducted by varying the number of convolutional layer. For this test, we are using 4 convolutional layer in the first configuration, 3 for second configuration and 2 for the third configuration. The other parameter is kept constant. Based on the result obtained, we can see that all the tested configuration obtain perfect accuracy over the test dataset, but a slight variation can be seen occur for the test and training loss. Second, CNN configuration is chosen due to its lowest test loss. Even though lower training loss is obtained for the third configuration, the model can be considered as overfitting since its training loss is lower than its test loss. Overfitting indicates that the model is too complex for the problem that it's solving. The evolution of model accuracy and loss during training process is shown in the graph. From the graph, we can see that training accuracy rapidly improved over first 10 epoch, whereas the training loss rapidly decreased over the first 3 epoch and there is only small improvement in terms of accuracy and loss for the rest of epoch. Next, a test to determine the best number of filter size is conducted. For this test, the smallest filter size used in this test is 3x3 3 3 and the largest filter size used is 11x11 11 11 filter. Apart from that, we also use combination of 3x3, 5x5 and 9x9 for the first, second and third convolutional layer respectively for the fifth configuration. Based on the result obtained, the configuration with 3x3 3 3 filter obtain the lowest test loss among the other configuration. Changing number of filter tests from the previous test, the number of convolutional layer is fixed at three convolutional layers, and size of filter used is three by three filter. The first network configuration used is sixteen, thirty-two, and sixty-four filter for the first, second, and third convolutional layer, respectively. The second, third, and fourth network configuration use 16, 32, and 64 filter respectively for all three convolutional layer in the network. The first configuration with combination of 16, 32, and 64 filter is selected since it has small test loss. Next, we vary the batch size and the number of epoch. In this test, six combination of batch size and epoch is studied. From the result, combination of 10 batch size and 50 epoch yields smallest value in terms of test loss. Therefore, the model with combination of 10 batch size and 50 epoch is chosen as our final model. A program that can take one input image at a time and determine which class the fruit belongs to is created. The train model is used to make prediction about the class of the input image. In this test, a separate program is created for the quality and maturity model. Based on the result, the program is able to use both CNN model to classify Lima Manis based on its quality and maturity level. In conclusion, the final CNN architecture for our model consists of three convolutional layer with 16, 32, and 64 3 by 3 filter respectively and trained with 10 batch size for total of 50 epoch. The trained model for maturity dataset achieved test and training accuracy of 100% and 0.0123% test loss. 0.0479% training loss and 100% F1 score. On the other hand, the train model for quality dataset achieved 99.84% training accuracy, 100% test accuracy, 0.329% training loss, and 0.023% test loss, and 100% F1 score.
For the future work, we plan to use data augmentation method to increase the number of training data and also construct other machine learning models to detect fruit size. Finally, all the models need to be integrated to form an automated local fruit planning system. Thank you.